Here it is. The list of the best mobile games of 2021 so far. We'll be adding more reviews as the games get released. So make sure to bookmark this page and check it every now and then. Every year we review hundreds of new mobile games. Picking out the cream of the crop for you to play. It's not as easy a process as you might think. For a start. There's definitely not time to review everything. Our editors and reviewers look through the stacks of games released each month and pick out those which we think have the most promise. There are tens of thousands of mobile games released every year and we only have so much time. So, even before games are reviewed they've been filtered through on multiple levels before that selection. But, with us doing so many reviews each year we thought it was sensible to create this resource. So that you can, at a quick glance, before of that, don't forget to subscribe our channel then click the notification bell to updates the next video and comment down below if you want a game should be included in top 10 list. Hi Cody fam. Here are the best mobile games of May 2021 by review ranking. Please watch and enjoy. We've all heard the story of the Little Red Riding Hood. A classic tale that has everything you could ever want. Grandmothers, lumberjacks, and wolves. Oh. And who can forget the Little Red Riding Hood herself? We've heard that story a thousand times. But we rarely get the chance to play it for ourselves. Fortunately, developer Giant Games is here give us that experience in a way you've never expected before, with Night of the Full Moon. An RPG-like card game that will keep you hooked from beginning to end. In Night of the Full Moon, you play as Little Red Riding Hood. As you'd expect. But instead of being a cute little child, she is a knight. A witch a nun, or even a soul hunter. It all depends on how you want to play the game. You can choose any class you want, but the difficulty will increase depending on your choice. Not only that, but you can increase the challenge a bit more after you've played through the game the first time. Download now. Giant Dancing Plushies is a game where you control building-sized stuffed animals as they strut down the street, destroying cars, tanks, and more. You can move these giant animals one step at a time, but the game challenges you to do it to the beat of either the in-game soundtrack or whatever music you might be listening to at the time. Your goal in Giant Dancing Plushies isn't to get as far as possible or make it through a song, but rather to complete a mini challenge like destroy 5 tanks or pick up 10 coins before being beamed up on a UFO to collect rewards that can unlock new skins, powers, modes, etc. These sessions are super short, meaning that you'll only have to be honed in on any given play session for a minute or two at most. Download now. Psycholonials is a visual novel by Andrew Hussey. The mind behind MS Paint Adventures, including Homestuck. When I booted up the game, I wasn't sure what I was getting into. As Homestuck is mostly something I heard about in passing as an impenetrable, crudely drawn web comic with a cult following. After finishing an experience I took my sweet time with, I relish the opportunity to dive into Hussey's other works, speaks the language of modern online discourse and stretches it out to absurd proportions, all while telling a deeply human and relatable story. It's an incredible read. Tells the story of Jen, a depressed 20-something who finds herself isolated from nearly everyone in her life due to the onset of the COVID-19 lockdown. Her only real connections to the outside world are her midlife popular social media persona and her successful influencer friend, Abby. The story opens with Jen starting another day of drinking alone and cringe posting before a string of events inspires her to reinvent her online presence, which ends up having far-reaching consequences. Download now. Embracelet is an adventure game where you play as Jesper, a 17-year-old who has problems at school and home. All that changes when he visits his grandpa, who gives him a bracelet with magical powers. You know, a typical grandfather and grandson relationship. Jesper's grandfather doesn't know anything about the bracelet other than it being magical. He lets you keep the bracelet with a few conditions. You can't tell anyone about it, you can't use its powers with other people, and you must find who it belongs to and return it. 
Grandpa makes all these rules because of his tragic mistakes in the past. The story as a whole is a bit slow paced, in my opinion. It takes a while before things start to get interesting, and it might feel a bit dull at first. That said, after you begin to discover more about the tragic story behind the bracelet and your grandfather, you start to feel more invested and want to find out what's going on. Although, it's still a bit slow. Download now. I always am interested in what new games are coming out on Apple Arcade, and when I saw Cozy Grove, I was instantly drawn in by the cute graphic style and the fun look of it. Hearing that the game is similar to Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, I instantly wanted to play. Has you playing as a spirit scout, a girl who deals with spirits who are trapped in the world, looking to make peace with their surroundings. These ghosts aren't spooky or scary in any way and come in the form of big blocky animals who all have their own memories, stories, and ways to help you. When you first get to the island, the world is quite grey. There isn't much color, but this can soon change as long as you help the ghost spirits who are trapped there. They talk about another spirit scout from a time long ago who couldn't actually help them, but I am sure you can do a better job. When it comes to exploring, you can walk up to ghosts and hear small stories from them, giving you quests to help them out. Some of these quests are time limited, giving you a little less than a day to help the ghost out while others stick around until you have completed them. Download now. I tested out Unruly Heroes both using touch controls and the Bluetooth controller and found both control methods perfectly usable for completing the game. Each stage features collectible and time challenges, and I will say I found it much easier to complete the timing challenges using a controller, but if you just want to enjoy the story and novelty of Unruly Heroes, there's plenty of game to enjoy here, and you definitely don't need to consider using additional hardware to do so. That said, a sure sign of a successful platformer is its ability to make you want to master its levels and cruise effortlessly through them. Perhaps it goes without saying at this point, but Unruly Heroes absolutely does this. So you might find yourself busting out a controller just to enjoy this game in a new way after completing it. Download now. Simple as its gamma play might be. Say no. More is special because it makes some of the most difficult aspects of game making look so easy. It's genuinely funny and tells a great story that hits harder than it might otherwise because of your interactivity with the characters. It also manages to do this using a PS1 era aesthetic that adds to the game's overall absurd charm. Simple as its gamma play might be. Say no. More is special because it makes some of the most difficult aspects of game making look so easy. It's genuinely funny and tells a great story that hits harder than it might otherwise because of your interactivity with the characters. It also manages to do this using a PS1 era aesthetic that adds to the game's overall absurd charm. More is a lovely game that makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside, even though it's all about telling people no. Download now. MOBA stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. And it's become the term for describing multiplayer games featuring teams of unique champions competing for control of zones and objectives in an effort to overwhelm their opponent's base. Wild Rift's take on this is essentially the same as the original leagues. Matches play out on a square map with three lanes leading between team bases, located in opposing corners from each other. Making matches shorter sounds easy, but it involves a ton of tiny changes to the base game across the board. There's a distinct progression of phases across matches of League of Legends that teams can address in different ways to affect the flow of the game. Some of this dynamism is also dependent on the specific characters or shop items in use. The game itself is a visual showpiece and makes all of the smart decisions you can think of in bringing a team-oriented game to mobile. Download now. When Fantasian was first announced and the developers showed off a unique world filled with diorama-made graphics and detailed 3D characters, it begged the question of how it was possible to achieve such fidelity on a mobile device. Hironobu Sakaguchi has been blessing consoles with his Final Fantasy games since the beginning, and while this game feels different enough to distinguish itself from previous titles in the series, it is absolutely that style of a role-playing game. Bringing a console-quality role-playing game to mobile I'm sure wasn't easy, 
but it delivers the classic feel of the RPG's beloved. The world over and takes the genre into uncharted territory with an art style that delivers an unreal clarity and nearly tangible detail that is breathtaking as each new scene is revealed. While the current build is only the first installment of a two-part adventure, there's a huge world to explore with plenty to do. Your protagonist Leo awakens from an explosion with only his name and a singular memory. His robotic companions, Prickle and Clicker, try to help him fill in the gaps, as by explaining how he got there, what his mission is, and how they can escape the factory they currently find themselves in. Dialogue between Leo and the robots is witty and sometimes hilarious and adds a lot of personality to the interactions. Download now. Overall, Another Eden is a nostalgic surprise for me and one I'll likely keep playing for weeks and weeks to come. I've already been playing this game every single day for a week and a half now and I've only just scratched the surface, there are 66 chapters in total, I think dot, but one of the things I really like about this game is that you can play it at your own pace, there are no repetitive dailies or weekly monthly events, and you don't need to catch up with limited time events just to stay current. You can keep playing and your characters won't get outdated. Plus, you have access to past collabs that you can unlock at your leisure, there's one for the Tales franchise right now. I honestly can't believe it's a free-to-play game, so if you're a fan of Xenogears like I am, it's a definite must-download, especially with these adorable little kitties scattered randomly across the world map, this one looks like it's disappointed in me for some reason, download now.